Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Riz, I'm Riz and you're watching YouTube Guide. Today, I'm going to show you the camera that you've been searching for. Camera under $100 or the cheap YouTube, cheap camera for YouTube videos. So, uh, okay, I want, to, I want you to pause this video and I want you to guess what camera right now I'm using, what, what camera I'm recording this on. And I'll, I'll, you, can, you can guess the lens or not. I just, I just want you to guess the price of everything that's in the frame. The lights, the camera, all the lights. So I want you to pause the video and just guess the amount, how much would that, how much this setup costs. I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay still for a bit and you just think about it. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you guessed or not, but this whole setup cost about $140. Yeah, so let's, let's dive in. Okay, so you, you'd be searching for a camera that's good for YouTube, that's good for vlogging, and that's good for basically everything. And it cost about $100. And that's the camera I am recording. I am recording this on at the moment and uh, you won't believe me this the lens i'm using is a kit lens that comes with the camera and costs just about 25 to 30 dollars i think so it's really cheap i mean i hold up the whole camera cost about 100 dollars, so the, the lens should cost around 20 or 30 i guess the body of the camera cost about 80 i think so the whole camera is about 100 dollars. and what you might be you might be asking me what camera is this bro what camera is this Riz? And what microphone are you using? Uh, my mom came, so I apologize for that. All right, so you might, be, you might be asking me Riz, what camera are you using? Are you gonna tell us? Of course I'm gonna tell you what camera I'm using. So you basically are searching, if you're searching, if you're in the market for a cheap camera that's good for YouTube, that's good for vlogging, I would recommend you the camera that I have right now. So I don't have any other camera except for my iPhone. So let me just, uh, let me just switch it back, okay? And uh, put the, uh, and let me show you how, what the camera is, okay? All the, all, coming back, coming, 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 coming. Okay, so we got the camera and uh, let's, oh, by the way, if, you, if you're wondering what camera I'm using, what iPhone I'm using right now, it's the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Okay, so let's, uh, let's have a focused angle on this and I'll show you what camera is this. All right, so uh, this is a Canon, Canon 600D, as you can see. And the, the lens I'm using right now is a kit lens that's, hold on, let me show you. And that's, uh, that's 18 to 55, and it's 3.5, basically a kit lens that you get with the camera. And this camera, and by the way, if you're wondering about the microphone, this is a Boya BY-MM1. It's a really cheap microphone if you want, if you want to vlog. And uh, by the way, if you, if you have this and you want the best audio from it, you can watch my tutorial all over here or somewhere on the screen. I'll link that below or in the cards so you can you get the best audio from your Boya BY-MM1. I'll just take it off for, for a bit. All right, so the, the features of this camera is 1080p. I'm not gonna go into the specs. There's a lot of reviews in the, out there. So 1080p, 24 frames per second, and a slow, for slow motion, you have 720p, 60 frames per second. Let me see if I could show you. So, uh, yeah, so the, the good part about this camera is that I've set it up to have a C-Log, a kind of a C-Log kind of thing. I'll show you the differences between the standard and a C-Log and how much of a depth that you can get out of this camera. And it's just, just play with it. There's a lot of um, just tools like Magic Lantern, I think that's what, what that's called. So yeah, it's a pretty good camera for, you know, for $100, if, as you have seen the screen, if you, as you have seen the, seen the uh, recordings. So uh right now i am recording at the uh, so i am recording with the uh the c-log as you can see now let me show you it can shoot raw as well and you have options like uh, 1080p 25 1080p 24 and that's 720p 50 not 60 so the slow motion isn't exactly that good 
but I have some videos that I'll be showing you some examples that I shot with this camera you know just just to get an idea and how good really how good that is with the kit lens and I also have a 50mm for this one it's a really cheap lens as well all right so I got the uh, this is a Canon 50mm 1.8 for that creamy creamy blurry background and stuff it's really good lens if you really if you're looking if you're in the market and you want something for you know great great uh, low light performance as well as the you know the bokeh that you get from this lens is just awesome so yeah it's a pretty good camera you got flippy screen as well you know for the vlogging and stuff so as you can see I'm recording with my iPhone let me zoom in the only downside to this camera is uh, can you okay so the only downside to this camera is that you don't get the uh, the only downside to this camera is that you don't get the autofocus so it doesn't really autofocus but it's 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 good it's good for its price range so you, what you can do is basically just sit in front of it and just hold the button it will automatically autofocus let me show you how it does that so basically if I want to autofocus on this tripod as you can see I'll just click and let it focus see yeah it took it time sure it's a, it's it's a really old so basically this is about 11 years old if I'm not wrong I just googled it myself so this is 11 years old camera and you really can't expect more from this okay so the camera is mounted as you can see and uh, yeah so before ending the video let me just show you some of the clips that I recorded with the uh